Hello everybody, welcome to our service at the Sports Village Church Online on the 7th of February. Um, that means it's the first Sunday of the month and we are looking at our sermon series on the first Sunday of the month, our topic for the year, which is, what is God? What is God? When we use that phrase, what do we mean? And it's based on question four of the Westminster Shorter Catechism. A catechism is a book of question and answers that teaches religious truth and it's a shorter one because there was a longer one and this is the shorter one and it was written in Westminster Abbey in the 1640s and the question is what is God and the answer is God is a spirit infinite eternal and unchangeable in his being wisdom power holiness justice goodness and truth and we're looking at infinity today. We looked at God's spirit, God's spirituality last month, and now we'll be looking at that. God is a spirit and he is infinite. And it's been a challenge because it was really hard, a really deep topic, but I hope we're all blessed and that we enjoy learning something about God today. Uh, just a few notices from me, Wednesday Night Life Group is continuing. Um, a life group, it's uh, a place where we gather, we have a catch-up, we have a sing-song, we have a pray, and we have a little read of the Bible and a talk about it. So if you want to come along, um, you're most welcome. You don't have to say anything, you can just listen. You don't have to stay for the whole of it. If you just want to come in, say hello, and then go, it's entirely up to you. It'd be lovely to see you, because we miss you. And, you know, it's nice to catch up. Uh, the second point, um, just a reminder about CAP, if you want to know any more about what we do, CAP, excuse me, Christians Against Poverty, a, a group that we run at SVC, if you want to know any more, get in touch. Um, if we can't answer your questions, we'll send you to somebody who can. And if you want to help, uh, volunteer, give time or money if you can, uh, please consider that and get in touch and again we'll help you do that and the third notice like last week if you struggle to get online get in touch with us we'll see what we can do to help you uh, that was what we discussed at the last leaders meeting and we feel that obviously lockdown it's well we don't know how long it's going to last, but it's not going to be over next week, is it? So, yeah, we don't want anyone to feel left out or left behind. So if you are struggling, get in touch and we'll see what we can do. So, yeah. So that's all from me. And as we're looking at God's infinity, I just want to say that it's one of those words that we use today, but the Bible uses other words about it, like majesty, like perfection and the other word is greatness and I'm going to read a psalm which I quote in the sermon but it talks about God's greatness and that God is near so it's psalm 145 so if you if you can read along you know um, I read from the ESV English Standard Version so read along so you can see and hear God's word I will extol you my God and King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds, and I will declare your greatness. They shall pour forth the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saints shall bless you. 
They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to the children of man your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and kind in all his works. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. That's what we're going to do now. Let's worship.